Hi, I'm Ian Cole, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IEQA tech tip on groupings of mold. We humans love to categorize and classify everything. There's no exception when it comes to mold. We can group species of mold several different ways. You can group molds based on the moisture requirements. Those species that like the most amount of moisture are called hydrophilic. The dry loving species that prefer relatively little moisture are called xerophilic. And those species that like it somewhere in the middle are called meso or mesophilic. You can also group molds based on the nutrients they prefer. Some species only have enzymes to digest simple sugars, whereas others have specialized enzymes to help them digest more complex organic materials such as cellulose. You can also group molds based on temperature requirements. Thermophilic molds prefer warmer temperatures and therefore pose an infection risk to humans. Our body temperature might be right within their preferred range. We can also group molds based on how quickly they grow. Typically, xerophilic species that prefer simple sugars will grow quickly and therefore are called primary colonizers. Typically, hydrophilic species that digest more complex organic compounds take a lot longer to grow and are called tertiary colonizers. Secondary colonizers fall somewhere in between. Finally, we can also group molds based on similar genetics and or morphology. Taxonomy, which is the science of classifying living organisms, strongly considers genetics and morphology when making groupings. Therefore, very similar mold species will likely be placed in the same genus. If you'd like to learn more about the fundamentals of mold, consider taking a one-hour class in the IAQA University titled Mold. Visit the IAQA website for more information.